It's 56 past 6, good evening. I just finished a stream on DLive a little while back and I ran into some encoding error overload, CPU maxing out. Now, why is this interesting? Well, I haven't had that issue in a long, long, long while, except that last night I upgraded my OBS software to the current version. I was super, super, super reluctant to do this. And I finally did it to see if it would resolve some other issues. But I smartly collect, collected, I smartly kept the old install of OBS. And I went back and I replayed, well, I did some tweaking in the old version and I watched the CPU and it didn't get anywhere near. It went it was over 60% during my last stream and I was getting all kinds of glitchy crap. So the message here is do not upgrade your OBS. And if you have upgraded and you're getting encoded overload errors and you never used to, roll back your OBS. Now, what version do you think you need? Well, here's the two versions that I have. Let me uh, just change this up a little bit here. Let's put this down like this. If I zoom in here and if I go OBS, can we see that? I've got to get even closer. Hang on, I've got to get closer with my, I've got to, um, I've just got to take this off here. Hold on a second. Sorry about this. Just got to get the camera closer to the screen. Uh, and now the GH5 will give me all kinds of autofocusing issues. So the old version is version 24.06. And the new version is the one underneath that, which is the one that doesn't work so well, 25.08. So they're the two versions of OBS, which I'd recommend. Well, that's what gave me the issues. And I'd recommend you go back and I'm just going to, what I'm doing, I'm just taking this off. Now I'm going to put this back on so I can hold you on my hands. If you happen to have a similar issue, encoding overload error, you may consider going back down to OBS version 24.06. Now that was the one that was kind of like the patch one when Catalina came out on the Mac. Catalina threw all kinds of errors with OBS and they quickly rushed out a patch which was 24.0.6. I've been using that since then because it's worked flawlessly. I upgraded last night and the first time it's just massive, massive encoded overload errors. And for those that are interested, I was using, let me just have a quick look on the output settings here and I'll read them out to you. I was using command preferences, go to output, uh, output. I was using constant bit rate, 6,000 kilobits a second, streaming in 1080p 30, uh, keyframe two, ultra fast CPU usage preset. Profile may oh sorry hang on that's the top one it wasn't the top one I was on fast I was on faster initially and profile main and now I've got it back and that's in that new update but in the old update I've had it on ultra fast with no dramas so that's a little um, I guess a little a uh, little bit of a lesson for you a little bit of a just a heads up, I suppose. There are workarounds, you know. You probably should get a PC if you're going to do live streaming, but I'm a Mac guy, and these are the issues that we face. Hear that fan? It's pretty much on all the time. It's what it is. I don't mind a bit of fan. It keeps me cool in the summer, right? I actually EQ that fan noise out so that my mics don't pick it up. This mic is not my streaming mic.